So I thought it might be fun to talk about this technique we use on the banjo, which we call single string technique. And normally we think about the banjo doing rolls like this. And we get the impression of going really, really fast by alternating the three fingers on the right hand. So I can go, I couldn't move any one finger this fast, but by alternating all three, I could go as fast as I want. And no finger is moving faster than that. Right? So that's, that, that's a technique in itself that is, is what Scrug style is all about. But there's a guy named Don Reno who started another style on the banjo called single string. And of course, people argue about who actually started it, but he certainly was a great one who did an awful lot with it and probably started it. And he figured out that on a banjo, you could break the rule that you never hit the str same string twice that Scruggs generally kept to and hit the same string with the thumb and the index in a row. And basically you're turning your thumb and index finger into a flat pick with this technique. So you could do things like if you're playing along with a roll and you bring in the thumb and now what we think about when we think about the banjo roll and all I'm doing there is going back and forth with my thumb and index. Down strokes are always the thumb, index is always up. So a good way to practice this might be to start with the open strings. So say you take the middle string, the G string, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then do the second string. And then the first string. So, and then start doing them consecutively. So that, by going across all the strings, you get used to being in time and you get used to switching from string to string, which is one of the trickiest things about the thumb index single string style because um, it's one thing to stay on one string and go up and down, but if you're, you're going all the way from any string to any string, that's a lot harder. So another cool technique to work on that would be to say do just three notes on each string, which will mean you'll go thumb, index, middle, no, thumb, index, thumb. The next string you'll start index, thumb, index. So it'll be like this. So by coming up with some techniques like that, you start out by learning how to get your right hand together. After that, now you have to learn how to get the left hand in. So one suggestion I might make is to do a similar kind of thing and do, for instance, four notes on each string, a nice even number, and then go to the next string. to one. Then the next obvious thing to do is to do three notes. Well then I went into triplets, but that's, that's for the next lesson. I think that's maybe enough for right now. If, if it was me and I was learning that for the first time, my head would be exploding. So get a towel, towel off your head and learn this music. Good luck. <laughs>